Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Blasphemous. I'm your Dungeon Master Darius. Last we left off, we were in jail. The Wall of Holy Prohibitions. And, um, okay. And, uh, we had gotten a key, which will allow us to activate a lift somewhere in the convent of Our Lady of the Charred Visage. Uh, now, I can do that, but I got a chalice that needs filling up. So what I'm going to do instead is go to the few places that I'm pretty sure I had to go to in order to do so. But if I recall correctly uh, from reading it, there are several rules to this chalice. I cannot die, obvs, and I cannot, cannot use uh, traveling in order to do so. So I pretty much have to go, or I cannot use traveling. I can't use the teleporters in order to do so, so I'm pretty much going to go from uh, already killed the minotaur looking dude who was up here on the way over here and then I was I stopped here at the uh, teleporter was like wait a second I kind of want to figure out what the hell's beyond all this so yeah I'm uh I don't know why I'm doing this but I'm doing this um so what I have to do now is go either here or not here but where is it no here the sleeping canvases uh because i think it was the large guys with the maces and then i gotta get traverse all the way over here to the mountains of the endless dusk and then i gotta travel back down here to the desecrated cistern Shouldn't be too, too hard, I think. Maybe. And mostly getting here is going to be the pain in the arse part, so. <sighs> Alright. Let's start this traveling, shall we? I probably could have started a little bit, you know, more out of the way or whatever, but eh, whatever. So I suppose while I'm doing this, I might as well uh, divulge a little bit of how I'm feeling about this game. Not entirely great. Won't lie. Like, I love this game's art style. The music is fantastic. Very, very atmospheric. Does just what uh, the game needs in order to, you know, seem proper creepy-like. And it does. It's very proper creepy-like. And the monster in, um... Character designs are fantastic, especially when it comes to pixel art. Because, trust me, pixel art is a hard thing to cover. Not that I personally know, but at the same time, it, it is. Just, yeah. Let's see. Oh, I can actually go down through the library. I should do that instead. That said, while the game itself has been... I guess... Oh god, that's right, you gals. While the game itself hasn't been terrible, it's definitely been more upsetting than anything, and not even in that way of, oh god, gore, ugh. It's been more in the way of just kind of attrition and not feeling like I'm having that much fun. Let's see, was there... I might be remembering my directions wrong. I'm very much remembering my directions wrong. Yeah, down further, you dope. <clears throat> and I know a good lot of that is very much a skill issue. Oh, don't play a game that you're bad at or whatnot. And... <clears throat> well, that's the thing, is that one can get better when playing video games. It's just that a good lot of the times, it's the pain of getting better and builds and whatnot and like you you guys all know me I really like myself a good character with a really high ass attack power so yeah I'll usually get a little bit more frustrated than some <clears throat> when it comes to my poor ass getting beaten again and again and again and again where am I going with this? Oh yeah. Uh, but it still should at least feel possible 
I guess. And again, I know, skill issue. <clears throat> but, I don't know. It's just a lot of the times where it feels like things aren't quite meshing, I guess. Bad choice of words, I know, but bear with me. I am trying to share my feelings while I'm trying to survive. There you are. Yes, one more to go. Again, can't teleport. Might as well have that there in case I die. Because then all I need to do is hit the guy there, come back up to the wall, and then come down. <coughs> Excuse me. But at the least now, all I need to do is traverse this way, then up, then so on and so forth. Hello, thing I've already claimed. Alright. Uh, over, I think. Yeah. Hello, candle thingy I've already claimed. Hello, dudes with a candle that are way too strong for their own good. But yeah, it's a, I don't know, it's all kind of hard to explain, but at the same time, like the best way I can describe it is that it feels clunky in the way that it is just unfriendly to the player. That makes no sense, Star. Hear me out. So you have your sword slash. You'll hold still, all Castlevania style, if you're not jumping. And sometimes the inputs are funky, like it doesn't read that I'm pressing down or up when I'm trying to do that those combo moves. So I'm pretty much just left flailing, hoping that eventually it will read my inputs and be all like, oh, so you wanted to do that cool little uppercutty move. It's like, yes, game. That's exactly what I wanted to, to do, like, three combos ago. Now, that could very well just be my controller. That could just be very well my inability to... I don't know, have decent uh, inputs for my... I think I'm about to turn that one off for now. And you know what? That's fine. If it's just a thing with my controller or my own classiness, okay, cool. That's on me. Yeah, okay. But my other problem mostly lies in how this game was designed. Like, I had to go... <coughs> Excuse me. I had to go, there were many chance, many times and whatnot that you were going into a place, exploring thoroughly, and then suddenly you went, oh, there's the mountains of the endless dusk. Do I gotta go explore this way? And then you go that way, and then, oh, there's John Doe. Okay, guess I'm exploring this way now. And then you go explore John Doe, and then turns into Echo's Assault, and Grievance Ascended, and yada, 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 and so on and so forth, and it just... It's a lot, man. It's a lot. And I mostly say that as an individual who cannot focus for too long on some things. Not out of boredom, just my mind doesn't let me. Ugh. I think one of my other biggest complaints, though, is that, I don't know, usually when you play a Retrovania, one of the most satisfying things, the most satisfying thing, I would argue, is traveling. You know? Like, Bloodstained, uh, 
when you eventually get a bunch of a bunch there's so many different moves that are basically dedicated to I'm going to move this way I'm gonna slide I'm gonna double jump I'm gonna super dash I'm gonna do all this that and the other bric-a-brac it's fun you turn into a laser you double jump you dash you swing you there's a lot of stuff <clears throat> it's very fast it's almost frantic even getting from one place to another it's a reward to get a it feels like a reward to get in get a new mode of movement this um not as much bottomless pit bottomless pit was this the way oh can I give you the chalice Come on, be something good, please. Yeah, I think that's good. The virtue of mea culpa has ascended. Oh, I didn't get that skill yet? I thought I did. Press B to use your attack. I'm going to get that. My sword is as powerful as can be. I think. Hello. Well, that was brutal. Cool. Okay. Swords as strong as can be. Um, I guess I just gotta go up there. Oh, one second, folks. Ah, oh, God. Don't know why I'm suddenly having a coughing fit. Anyways. So we got a key. Allows us to go up here to do things. Yeah, shouldn't be shouldn't be too bad of a trip back up. I say terribly missing the bowl cladded individuals. Alright, where am I going? I am going straight up. So is that fireball. That's fine. Part of me is... Uh, I don't know yet. Part of me is really, really tempted to go ahead and say, screw it, I'm going to try going through that um, terrible place I hate with pirate ships. At the same time, I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Uh, we'll see how I feel after the um, place of things. Yes. Guys, I gotta get that mask from the. I presume the mask is in the uh, convent of the charred lady. Oh, I'll probably get to you soon enough, lady. Maybe. I really hope it's not one of those situations where it's like, oh, hey, congratulations, they beat the game. Right to New Game Plus with you. <coughs> Partially because I just... I just don't want to right now. Pardon the coughing. I don't know what the hell's up with it. Alright. Usual stops... Oh, it's ever can. Why not? At the time of its death, before the journey, the miracle kissed the hand of the master, stopping the corruption of the flesh and granting him a new grace. In the name of the high wills, I bless. Yeah, okay. Incorrupt hand of the fraternal what now? Master, okay. I read hater for some reason. Sacred relic in a perfect state of conservation. The hand shakes gently when it considers its when it considers it necessary, secretly articulated by ethereal muscles and tendons. The bell that it's holding warns the character if nearby presence of a mystery. 
After all, no bastion is safe from the tenacity of the truly curious. As soon as the atrocious earth tremor was heard, they knew something dreadful had happened. Oh, that's the same thing. So, it's a thing that tells me that a secret is nearby. <coughs> uh, um, neat? I guess? Kind of one of those things where it's like, why, why didn't you give me this sooner in the game, game? Alright. Gonna double check with Ludovico, and then I'll head up the mountains. And we're here. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I forgot about you. I. <clears throat> there we go. But yeah. It also seems kind of like the game just kind of. I don't want to say randomly determines how much damage you take from any one source. It does feel like, though, that it does randomize how much damage you take from any one source. <clears throat> like, oh, these are all going to do X damage, and then this is going to do Y damage. Stop that. Eh. Think of them. <clears throat> Excuse me, goddamn. Ah, it's a cough. One second. Well, that feels terrible. Anyways. Um. Uh, wow. Don't call that being a problem. But yeah, I don't know. Just thinking of the different ways that they could have made it so as you traverse in other fashions, like, oh hey, here's a um here's a combo that essentially acts as a double jump while you're attacking in an upward fashion. Here's something that allows you to break through the ground <clears throat> like a ground pound. Like these are neat ideas that they could have done, especially with a character like the penitent one who clearly is based around combat. Have his moves be based around, you know, sword attacks and the like. Is it down over here? <coughs> Hell, if you want to really, um, show his might and prowess as a warrior, as it were, have it so as his sword, the Mea Culpa, can actually take up different forms, so, you know, you use a spear to make it so as he has a, um, heck, make it so as he has a spear so that you can do, like, some sort of a wall jump maneuver. The fact that they will survive a, an attack still irks me greatly, but I guess I'll live. <clears throat> Not like my throat, jeez. Or that nun, Jesus, man. Where's this thing I'm looking for? Um, <laughs> uh, so I have a heal here. <clears throat> I 
God damn. Just all over the place. And I went to the wrong place. Alright, give me a moment while I check out a map. Remember what I said before about always ducking in and out of situations of a particular stoof? I think this is one of them too. Because remember this over here? I mean, this is neat. But based on the fact that it's a giant elevator, more or less, I uh, kind of assumed that it was le leading to some sort of super bus or a boss in general. Not to the thing that I need in order to do things. Take the last one of these pains of mine, the deepest and sharpest of them all. Oh, please just expand the health bar right over to the tears. Now depart towards the cradle of punishment, O oh, penitent one in guilt. Yeah, I guess I'll do. Thank you. So that's all the Mia culpa, and that's all the health. I don't think there's much anything else that uh, we need slash will get. Well, that would have been useful. But here we are. About flipping time. Mirrored Mask of Dolphos. Which means that we can easily transport ourselves back. I awake now from the silver ash that has been my grave. A miracle calls me. Anyone else kind of feel like that this guy in the mask was a little bit full of himself, but maybe that's just me. I don't know. All right, back to the arch cathedral roof dupes. I am going to save and I'm going to call an episode and give my freaking throat a break because I don't know what the hell's wrong with it. When we return, I don't know. I, I just know that I'm near the end of the game and really I can't be more excited for it. <clears throat> all in all, hasn't been bad. Has just not been as, um, yeah. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I have, at least at, as much as I have been enjoying it. And as always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.